good idea to relatively quickly just schedule a visit with your veterinarian. You get your money established in there. If you've never been there before, you get established as a patient there. Also, you get a feel for um, how comfortable your, your veterinarian is with um, handling bunnies. And so one of the things that you want to see is what you can expect on a normal kind of physical exam. And with bunnies, it's pretty similar to with a dog or a kitty cat. We do a good full physical exam, and we'll basically do this in a second. I'll talk you through what I'm doing and what I'm looking and listening for. And then often we will try to get a fecal sample. Now, bunnies are pretty um, prolific uh, bathroom goers, and so they'll usually provide a sample on the way to the clinic or while they're there. But you can save your bunny a little bit of um, discomfort and you can bring a fecal sample in. So if they've gone to the bathroom that morning, you can put it in a little dish that you're okay to throw away or a Ziploc baggie and, and you can bring that in and we can use that and we're going to check for intestinal parasites as well as look at the quality and the consistency of the feces because basically the feces are a good way to evaluate the health of the GI tract. So I'm just going to talk you through what I do with a normal physical exam at this point and we'll go from there. So the first thing we do is just let them get established and comfortable. Bunny here has been here for a few minutes, and so we're doing pretty good right now, and she's pretty relaxed anyways. Every veterinarian will set their own exam style, and we do it in a certain order so that we don't miss anything. So even if you come in with a problem that's on the back end, I'm going to do a physical exam from front to back and then assess the problem so we don't miss anything else that's going on. And so that's something that will happen. Don't be surprised if they do it, maybe just a little bit differently. So we want to basically check all the major systems. So the first thing that I'm going to do is look at their eyes, and we're looking for the color and the clarity. They can get scratches on their eyes, but the cornea should be nice and clear, the clear part of the eye. We look at that, and then we can even lift their eyelid up and look at the white part of their eye and look and see if they have any conjunctivitis or any problems going on there. Next, I'll generally assess their mouth, and we'll take and we'll just make sure these teeth are sliding nicely side to side with no catches. That's a sign that their teeth are healthy. And then also, if we can, and some will let us do it and some won't, we'll just pull the lips down a little bit. I know what that is so rude. Pull those lips down and just get a look at those front teeth. And she looks pretty good. I got a quick look there from the side, and that's a lot of times as much as you're going to get. So after we assess the teeth, I will generally then move back and look in the ears. We do a quick visual assessment if they're holding them up, how they look. Now, it is important to know there are some bunnies that are called lops. Those ears hang down. They can be so long they can touch the ground. So it depends on the breed of the bunny, whether the ears are going to stand up or fold down. But most of our pet bunnies, the ears will stand up. And so we do a good visual assessment. We look for any redness, any irritation. Get, an eye down, get a look down inside the ear and check. And then we'll generally do an otoscopic exam. So we'll use a little source that has a light, it has a little magnifier, and we can get down in there. Now this generally tickles a little bit or feels a bit, un you know, maybe uncomfortable, probably just unusual. And so they usually don't sit super still, but this is the way we can actually look down in the ear. And we can even get a look at the eardrum if they'll sit still enough. I know what that tickles. And if we do that, we're looking for any wax, any buildup, any signs of infection. And we want to make sure that everything is looking just the way it should at that point. If everything's going well and they're not having problems, we probably won't get a look at the eardrum because they're going to move just like she did. And she's very good. She's better than most bunnies that we examine. Uh, more calm, anyways. And so she's very good, but we, we don't need to look at the eardrum unless there's a problem. And if we do, we may have to use a little bit of sedation. So at that point, I'm going to basically just check the skin, feel over everything, make sure we don't feel any bumps that can get tumors and growths, just like other animals. So we want to check for anything like that. This is also a good way to get an idea of their body condition because with her, she looks pretty round right now, the way that she's laying. But the way that a bunny lays, they fold their arms up on the outside, and then the back legs almost touch their front legs here. And then they have this good, beautiful fur that keeps them nice and warm and protected. And so they look bigger than they are. So realistically, her belly is only about this wide. It comes to just right here. And so we get a good idea for their physical condition, how healthy they are. So I'm feeling the ribs, I'm feeling her belly to see. And then what I'm going to do is turn her towards me just a little bit. I'm going to slide you around, big girl. And I'm going to get a good feel of the belly. So I'm going to slide right inside her legs, and I'm just going to feel her abdomen. We can get an idea if the stomach's too big. So if they are having problems, sometimes we can feel that stomach in there. We can get an idea of if they have any organs that are enlarged or have any problems going on. And then also if they have any constipation or problems like that, we can often feel that. And she feels really good right now. So the next thing we can do is get an idea of their heart and check their cardiovascular system. So we'll grab a stethoscope here. Their heart's up in the chest just like everybody else. And basically, we're going to come right about where their elbow meets. It's going to be a little hard to see with her. Let's see. So we're going to come right under here. 
And that's where we're listening for that heart. And then we'll slide up and check the lungs out, make sure that they're breathing well, get good air sounds on both sides. And then the last thing we're going to do is check their legs. And so a lot of times I'll kind of hold them, sometimes I'll wrap them in a little bit of a towel. And just take a look at their feet. We can check their toes here and see how they're doing. I know it. Get a look at that. Check all four of their legs out. Make sure that we don't have any problems going on there. And if there's a normal, good, healthy physical exam, that's probably about it. Now, we may do something specific for other things. So if they're not wanting to move or if they're limping, we may set them on the ground and watch them move around a little bit. We may need to get a fecal sample if they're having some digestive issues. We may have to take x-rays. We can do blood work in bunnies. That is something that would almost always involve some sedation to actually be able to get the blood to use for that. Um, and we can do a lot of other tests that we would do on cats and dogs that would be specific for a problem they may be having. But for just a good physical exam, you're going to check all the systems just like we just showed. Check their feces, make sure there's no parasites, just check the quality and the consistency for, for their gut health. And then that's pretty much going to be it.